Good morning, folks. Couple tiny pops here. Not directed at Earth, but Ejecta is nevertheless leaving our star. You can also see two huge towering plasma filaments dancing over the western limb. We've got replacements for them on the east, thin dark ropes turning into face Earth, and the eruption threat begins to rise on our star. That non-Earth directed Ejecta I mentioned at the start is indeed directed at another inner planet. NASA shows Venus set to take a direct hit from the small CME tonight or tomorrow. Let's come over to spaceweathernews.com to find, you guessed it, solar flaring in the doghouse. Sunspot situation is a touch more interesting today as the departing groups grew a bit, albeit still with magnetic separation. Meanwhile, over the last two days we saw this group in crest and now it's coming in to face Earth behind those two filaments in the coronal hole. We get a good look at the incoming group now, may have a bit of magnetic mixing in the middle umbras. I've pulled the seven day solar wind chart to show how minor this past week's impacts actually were. If not for that phi angle shift in blue up top, we may not have even seen that level one geomagnetic storm at the end of November 18th. Speaking of coronal holes, north is positive, south one there is negative. Only one is allowed access to near Earth space right now, however. The coronal magnetic fields have closed around that northern opening and squeezed it shut overnight. Let's take a look at the earthquakes. Largest one of the day was a 6.1 in Indonesia just this morning, but really, this is not rare or even significant for this area. The much more relevant quake was 5.0 in Venezuela. Just not that much activity in this part of the world, and you might remember that that area was on watch due to the OLR anomalies if you follow our Twitter feed. Global seismic watch is still depressed for now, but we'll also note that seismic activity is causing alerts to be raised at volcanoes in Iceland. Top story today, the private space age begins. SpaceX will be handling manned ISS flights starting in late 2017, article linked for you below. The red area here is plant life stress. Next article is where you can read about the ESA's plan for a fluorescence explorer of their Earth Explorer series of missions. Folks, today is Saturday, so in a few hours we will have the November 21st fly on the wall posted. That's over at suspiciousobservers.org. Click on the premium button, then fly on the wall. Typhoon Infa approaching super typhoon strength as it begins to bend north soon. We also have a new system forming in the Indian Ocean. This one is set to head south. Also still got Rick, south of Mexico, beginning to trek westward now, while the main story in this part of the world is the cold funneled down the western side of the low-pressure cell sitting in the middle of the U.S. Over a foot of snow has already fallen in some areas. Over in Europe, the low-pressure earth spot is now sitting over the north-central areas, and it will continue to drive the worst weather around the convergence boundary. The same story will be true down under, where the proper low interacts with New Zealand, Clouds and rain follow. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.